Morning, Robert. Good morning, Andy. Uh, we are currently heading, trying to get down to Marabou Pan for the sunrise because the sky has been clear uh, with hardly, hardly a cloud up until now. But we woke up this morning in a beautiful thin cloud cover. Um, so we are hoping for a beautiful sunrise. And we want a location for that sunrise. And Marabou Pan has these really nice dead trees behind it. So we, we're going to rush down there and try and get a time lapse uh, as the sun comes up. Just over there to the left, you see it's a little spotted unit, but I can't turn because of this track. It's pretty tiny, but it's good to see where we are. But yesterday was a bit of a I wouldn't say disaster, but a bit, of a bit exhausting with very little results. We, we were driving around, chasing things all day and not quite getting them. We saw them. I mean, we saw a lioness carrying her tiny newborn cubs, uh, moving them to a new location. But we arrived just a bit too late, so the light was bad and we couldn't get a good position to film her. Ah, so we missed it. Well, we didn't miss it, but we didn't get great content. We, we, we found a leopard and it was a small leopard. She was quite shy, so we couldn't get close. We had, we had her, when we first spotted her, she was in the riverbed, sort of walking past these, these dead trees. But then she went into the thick bush and I, I got one shot, I think, and then we couldn't. Then we drove around for about two hours because she had gone into this thick area and we were trying to uh, you know catch her when she came out but we didn't didn't get her again but yeah there are days like that you know uh, not every day is gonna be easy hopefully today will be a bit better we're gonna try not to drive quite as much today because we've been here two days and we're already under half a tank so I'm a little bit worried about fuel we might have to do a, a trip to refuel at some point um, but you know we have driven a lot in the past two days we've been trying uh, you know to orient ourselves and, and just check out all the different areas so we've been driving for quite a few hours every day and so from here on out we're gonna try be a little more targeted uh, so for example this morning we're gonna head straight to Marabou and we'll just sit there maybe for three hours watch the sunrise see what animals come to the waterhole and not drive around like loonies searching for things. So the sun came up behind the cloud and uh, so we scrapped the time lapse and uh, there wasn't much going on down at Marabou Pan. So we're heading back up to Rhino Flay. On our way down to Marabou we saw the lion tracks possibly heading this way. So maybe they'll be there.
So after much searching, following tracks, we drove nearly every little track in this area. We went back to the waterhole and the lions were all lying, well, were drinking at the waterhole. And then we followed them just a few hundred meters into the bush here. And they're lying down, they look very full. So I doubt they'll be doing much today. But beautiful lionesses. They are keeping an eye on the waterhole. So maybe if something comes. The only angle I can get is with me facing into the sun. So I've um, deployed my new invention, which we're calling Slim Shady, and it's a sort of it's a little awning that can very be very quickly extended and retracted um, in situations like this. It's hot here, so it helps to have a bit of shade. We're on our way home again, uh, in the dark as usual, but we're not far from camp. Luckily, um, this, after, this morning on our way back, we were told about some mating lions, so we went and found them, but the, it was still quite bright. So we headed back, had a rest in camp, it was a really hot day. Um, so then we came out when it uh, when it started cooling down and got some shots of of the mating lines and there were also uh, a few other big males hanging around and we, they were nice and out in the open so we got them lying around and yawning. Um, tried my low angle adapter again, which worked very nicely. We were hoping you know the other males would get up and walk or do something, but they didn't. The lions are exceptionally lazy. So we're heading back to camp now. We're gonna eat a ready meal, go to bed, get up early. We've still got a campsite tomorrow night but then after that we're struggling a bit to find anything. Um, DWNP, the Botswana Parks and Wildlife Department, is meant to, I believe, provide camping to people with filming permits but um, I keep getting told that they will see what they can do and maybe get back to me tomorrow. So we're not sure if we have anywhere to stay after tomorrow night. Um, in which case, we might head back to Kasani and spend a few days filming in the Chobe area and then come back when we've got a booking at Linyanti in a few days time. Otherwise, yeah, I don't know what we'll do. But something will happen, so it will work out. It, work out. it always works out. What do you think, Andy? Pass uh, me that. Pass I think you that. forgot to mention the nice time lapse we took. Oh, that's the reason. Let me get some light on you. So, my uncle who watches these videos keeps telling me that it's too dark in the car and we need to put light on our faces because he doesn't like the dark shots in the car. What he doesn't realize is that whole bit where I, that whole bit where I was talking. Sorry, now the light's off me. This is bullshit. <laughs> that whole bit where I was talking, I couldn't see the road at all. I was just driving aimlessly through the through the bush with a bright light in my face, like now again. But anyhow, we'll do it. We'll do it for Uncle Andy. Sure, I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the uh, the time lapse, Andy. Um, I think it was successful. We had some clouds. Um, Pretty good sunset, got a bit of the copy in at the end, and yeah, not the best, but the first one for the trip and a good start. And that's also why we didn't film any behind the scenes stuff while we were filming the lions, because the we have to use this GoPro to film the time lapse. So it gets left left in the bush while we go film other things, and then we go back and pick it up after the sun's gone down. Okay, bye bye now. Cheerio!